Alright everyone and welcome to Ask KJW number 7, a video where you ask me loads of stupid questions and then I give loads of stupid answers. Remember, these videos are uploaded weekly, I mean monthly, I mean yearly, I mean sometimes. Sometimes I upload these at complete random. You could get 7 in 1 week, you could get 1 in 13 years. You just don't fucking know what's going to happen next. And that's the excitement of it. What's your favourite Pokemon? Espeon. I'm not entirely sure why, it's just a cat and it's psychic, and it's really smart, so it wouldn't just be a pet, you could probably play like Scrabble with it and shit when you're bored. Do the questions only get used if you can think of a witty response? How fucking dare you even suggest that? The way in which I filter through the questions takes a lot of time, a lot of discipline, I am extremely selective in the- You know what, I can't even do it, yeah, pretty much. What's your best drinking or drug story? Probably my best or my favourite recollection of taking drugs. Just for the record, I don't take drugs or anything now, this is all in the past. But it was the first time I took MDMA, I was at a festival. I remember I had like a couple of crystals or something and then we were walking around, I was waiting to come up. And then like 30 minutes later I was sat on a bench and my mates were starting to come up and I was thinking, this is shit. I thought, why have I even bothered investing my money into this? So I was sat on his bench, thinking this is shite. I might just go back to the tent and get drunk or something. And then I stood up. I stood up from that bench. And the fucking world was different, I'm telling you. I was just stood there looking around like, what fucking planet am I on? Because this is not Earth. This is too good to be Earth. I literally just wanted to elasticate my arms and reach around everyone in the world and just give them all a big hug at the same time. I felt amazing. I felt like I could walk up to Syndicate and be like, mate, your shoes are really nice. And then we walked up this little path just from where we were sitting to this big rave in a wood and I literally just danced for six hours. And it was really boggy, so my feet were sort of like cemented into the floor. I must have had mud. I don't know if you can see this, up to about here. I just had mud up to there, so I was cemented in the ground for like six hours, just stood there like... And then the day after, we were taking MDMA again, probably not a good idea, but we were sat in the tent because it was too rainy to even go outside, and I was tripping balls for some reason. My mates were just sat there minding their own business, and I were like, guys, guys, we are in a cave. Meanwhile, one of my other mates was sat there, he was like freaking the fuck out, because apparently my other friend looked like a lizard to him or some shit. And to be fair, in that time, I should probably be more helpful and be like, you know what, we'll go get someone for you. You need to chill out. But in my mind, I was just thinking, you're really killing the cave vibes right now. Can you please just be quiet? And yeah, that was pretty much it. That's the majority of what I remember from my first experience of MDMA. And it was a very good one. But I would like to say at the same time, that I do not condone drug use. Don't use drugs. They're not worth it. I'll just remind you all now, if there are any young, impressionable viewers watching this, that drugs can result in severe anxiety, depression psychosis, paranoia, the list goes on, heart failure, kidney failure, so don't do drugs and uh, yeah, just get high on life. What is the nerdiest thing about you? I have a YouTube channel that is founded upon me talking over video games, so you're literally watching it, mate. What is the wildest thing you do nowadays? I'd probably have to say Pokemon Go. Say Pokemon Go and I'll bomb my local nursery. Um, wow, um... Read books is probably the wildest thing that I do right now. Onions on going vegan. No, I'm sorry. Onions on going vegan. I'm just, I'm not accepting that question. Do you prefer 2D or 3D guys? Well, initially, I was going to say 3D, but then I remembered that seductive glare that Brock always gives the camera when he pulls out his onyx, and I would have to reconsider. What is your dream job? Uh, it's probably quite a generic answer, like most people tend to answer this, but probably something working alongside animals. Cool animals, though, like... Tigers, lions, elephants, snakes, not shit animals like humans. Did you have a good time in Scarborough? I did have a good time in Scarborough. If any of you are from the United States or whatever and you don't know where Scarborough is, basically it's a seaside town in the UK. And yeah, I was having a really good time there until I saw one thing that really deeply saddened me, that sort of ruined the holiday vibes just in a matter of seconds. So you walk into a toilet at Scarborough and there's this guy who sits in between the men's and the women's toilets and he sits there and he charges you 40 pence a time to go for a piss or go for a shit. And I have never felt so sorry for someone in my entire life. I mean, like, honestly, respect to that guy because someone's got to do that job and I would never want to fucking do that job. But whatever he's getting paid, it's not enough. I love Kyle JW says, you're putting me in the video daddy with a picture of a hammer and I don't really have any kind of appropriate response to this picture or this message. 
but I'm going to feature it in the video because I value my life. I love Kyle JW says, I miss us, I miss you, I miss us. At this point, I am probably too creeped out to continue uploading content to this website, so I would appreciate it if you liked the video, but if I do not upload a video again in the future, it is probably because I have been murdered.